Just want to do a quick video showing how I do the dry fire practice with my gun. Basically, I have a 357 SIG Glock 32. Um, this is the magazine that it uses, and what I've done is uh, converted it into a snap cap magazine. And uh, you can buy these uh, plates here, find them on eBay or whatever. This is the uh, bright orange Glock base pad, and I think it's like two for maybe less than ten bucks. Um, and you can get these A Zoom uh, snap caps, and you can see they're well used. But um, basically, uh, get those about ten bucks for five of those, and then the magazine I paid about twenty five bucks for that. So um, you're looking about you know forty five bucks there um, with everything to make this setup. And what's nice about this setup is it's more realistic than uh, anything else out there on the market because you're using a real magazine um, and you have snap caps that'll load into the chamber just like a real uh, gun would, uh, a real uh, ammunition would. And um, what I've done is actually loaded dummy rounds uh, in 40 caliber in here to uh, give it the weight. And I used 40 caliber um, just because I had a whole bunch of them and also uh, 40 caliber is not even going to chamber even though the rounds have uh, struck primers anyways and they're just uh, no powder and, and, and just a projectile loaded in there so there's no chance of anything ever happening um, in a live fire situation. Uh, but yeah this is uh, going to give you the ability to um, basically train the way that you would in uh, if you were using live rounds. Um, the only difference is when you pull the trigger it's going to hit the snap cap and it's going to be as if you had a, a, a dead round or, or a bad primer and you'll have to either cycle that round out or you can slightly pull back on the slide and reset the striker and, and fire again. So this works really well. Um, it's probably one of the better setups I've seen out there. Um, I've seen other options that you can go with, but um, for now this weighted magazine um, with snap caps that you can cycle through your gun is a pretty nice setup. So you can load it up and then uh, you can chamber the round and basically everything just like the, the real deal. And uh, you're going to get your real trigger pull, nice quiet. The uh, snap caps have a spring inside of them and a nice soft buffer, so the uh, firing pin is not slamming against the breech face wall. Um, I've heard that if, if the firing pin continues to slam against the breech face, um, that you could eventually crack that breech face because um, basically the breech face has to be thin enough for the firing pin to pass through it and strike the, uh, the primer. So um, there's not really a ton of material there that you're slamming the firing pin into over and over again. So it's a good idea to have a snap cap that can absorb that energy. Um, even though I've heard you know people go you know thousands of times a snap cap and never have any issues like that, but I also have heard of issues happening. So um, snap caps are not a bad idea. It's also a nice training tool. Um, you can cycle through rounds and um, practice malfunctions and magazine changes and a lot of different things that you would do normally if you had the ammo and had the time to go out to the range. So, but yeah, that's how I've got it set up and it's working really good.